Hey, welcome to Thursday Thoughts. I'm Sophie Venable and I've been thinking about the DTR, the define the relationship conversation. And I think a lot of you are having this conversation a little too soon or are worried about having this conversation a little bit too soon. And it's easy in modern relationships to um, get really attached quickly, especially if you're gonna get physically involved. And that um, can sometimes create the illusion of a closer emotional intimacy. So there becomes this push or this need to have this conversation about defining the relationship maybe a little sooner than might be comfortable for the male half of the relationship. Um, and what I would be suggesting is that I'd like it to be a little more uncomfortable for you too. So I want to give you three reasons to slow your roll, so to speak, and back off from the define the relationship conversation um, until you get to know this person a little bit further. So the number one reason is that yeah, you can scare them off. Sometimes perfectly nice guys get scared. It does happen. And um, it can stem from a place of not necessarily being afraid of commitment, but one, maybe actually losing interest and in not even really understanding why, because it's almost like you told him the end of the book that he just started reading. And so he's not really sure why, but he's just not that excited about picking up that book anymore um, because he hasn't kind of, you know, created his own adventure. <laughs> and, um, the other reason too is that it can be a little bit scary for a man to um, take on what he might consider the responsibility of a committed relationship and a certain way that he has to operate and define his life when he hasn't really gotten to know you yet. Men are very visceral and they need to feel how they feel with you. And they also need to feel how they feel not with you. And so that's kind of important for you to remember to not sign up right away completely and be completely available all the time because you want him to feel in his bones how he feels when you've got plans with your friends or you've got other things to do or maybe you've even got another date. I mean, these are these are important things for him to feel, not not in a manipulative way, but I think most men will tell you they need to kind of experience something and feel it in their bones to really know how they feel about it. And, and what I'd love is if you took more time and you felt it in your bones longer before you made a decision as to whether or not this person um, has the honor of calling you um, his girlfriend or has the honor of being in a committed relationship with you. The second thing I want you to be aware of is that rushing to define the relationship can often keep you in a bad relationship situation longer. Because what can happen is you define that relationship and you're like, yay, I have a boyfriend, I'm safe and cozy in relationship. And then you start to really uncover the layers of who he is, right? You're seeing who he is under pressure, you're seeing who he is um, in relationship with his commitment to you, how he handles that, how he handles um, disappointment, how you two handle conflict, and you start to, to experience all of those things. And even if it doesn't work for you or in the extreme could be abusive to you, there's something that I call spackling that happens where you kind of get the spackle out and you just fill in the cracks and you hope that it all hold together. And that the fact that you are boyfriend and girlfriend is gonna kind of make all of this work or that you're going to make it work because this is your relationship, you're in, you're signed up. And so it can often um, lead to women staying in relationships that are not good for them because they didn't really know what they were getting into when they signed up, but now they have the momentum of the definition of that relationship, and so they keep going and they keep spackling. And that brings me to the third reason not to rush the DTR, and that is because it is just a good practice in general as a human being to um, get comfortable with the unknown. It's the least comfortable thing that we experience, and defining the relationship sort of creates this illusion of knowing your future. And it is a wonderful thing when you're together for a few months and you decide that you guys are, you know, moving forward together and that you can plan that trip next summer or that you can do those things and nobody's going to get weirded out by it. That's like the best thing about being in a committed relationship is that you can talk about the future. But again, should something change? Should um, you discover that, uh, I don't know, he's actually a criminal or should you discover that he, uh, doesn't treat you well um, in certain situations or that you he's really rude to your family all of a sudden you figure that out and you can't work through those things and they become insurmountable things then 
you know, then that's the end of the relationship. And so no relationship has any kind of guarantee. Somebody could get hit by a bus tomorrow. So the idea that having this DTR and defining the relationship is creating some sort of um, safety for you is in some ways an illusion. I'm not saying that after a few months, you know, three months when you really start to get to know this person, that the two of you can't agree upon certain boundaries and a certain way of handling your relationship or, you know, understanding that you're not dating other people. But again, as you're getting to know somebody, it's going to serve you more to not give them too much credit and sign up 100% without knowing who they really are. So that's what I want you to remember about the DTR and that's what I've been thinking. Bye for now.